My eyes are puffy? Finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> hey everybody! Hello, girl gang. Thank you for being here at this late hour and unexpected and with no notification and blah, 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 blah. It's nice to see you all. It is Friday after all. I kind of messed up our Friday. I apologize. Uh, Maggie is not well. She has been sick all night tonight. Okay. It's been a lot of cleaning up of puke. I don't want to talk about it because I'm starting to panic. So as we do, sometimes we're sweeping it under the carpet. We're not talking about it. She's fine now. She, the puking has stopped. She finally ate a little something. So I'm going to take that and, and is now resting peacefully. Uh, I'm considering this a break. I'm so glad to be here with you guys. Um, our girl was live. I have no idea what's gone on. I've seen nothing of this live stream, but I love the title so much. And I heard that she's in Montreal. So, you know, we have to go in and watch it. It's called Men Are Embarrassed to Be Seen With Me. <laughs> Some clickbait I don't like because I just feel duped. But even if this is clickbait, just the fact that somebody titles that on their own channel. I love that. I absolutely love it. Thank you guys, by the way, for all the love in the chat. I'm just... Not acknowledging because I'm sweeping it under the rug, but I definitely appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Chicken, thank you for the super chat. Love you, Frenchie. Can you say, look at my body? Ah, I'm a, maybe a little rusty. It's been a long time. Look at my body. Ah, <laughs> uh, that feels good. <laughs> it's like old times. Speaking of old times, now that I've just reminded myself, let me say this now. Uh, for everybody who may have missed our twitching and tweaking stream earlier today, it was such a good stream. It was so much fun. It's such a mind blowing video that we watched this morning. Okay. Um, I'm going to upload it tomorrow onto this channel, onto our main channel here. It'll be up at some point in the morning tomorrow. Okay. Highly recommend. And this is not clickbait. I genuinely mean it. If you would like your mind blown tomorrow, Watch our stream, our Twitch and, and Tweak and the stream I'm going to pop up tomorrow, okay? Trust me when I tell you, you will not be disappointed. It's fucking mind-blowing what we watched today. Anyway, I'm not going to give it all away. I leave you with that uh, cliffhanger, okay? But just trust and believe you want to see our stream from earlier today. Moving right along. <laughs> so let's get into our stream that we're going to be reacting to tonight. Like I said, it's called Men Are Embarrassed to Be Seen With Me. And I love that for all of us. So let me get the tab. Hold on. Hey, Tiffany. I don't want to talk too loud. But I don't want to be like super annoying. 
Ooh, stop giving BBJ fluff. Thank you for the super chat. I'm ordering that thing tonight. Let's do the cheers. Mm. Hey, Tiff, how are you? We are somewhere to eat. Yes. Dan's Beezer, Dusty Headboard. No, but I hope this cafe music is not copyrighted. It's kind of like a, it's like an Italian place. Where is she? <laughs> I I don't know. It's maybe maybe it's sick. Maybe I'm a stacker. But I find it fun. Like if she's going to insist on always being in my city, I always find it fun to try and figure out where she is by the surroundings. You know, I can't tell. Ooh, it's a mystery. That's always fun. Mister Meat Paws, thank you for the super chat. Damn it, Frenchie. Here I was going to bed. <laughs> Girl, no problem. Go to bed. Have an early night. Have a great rest. This shit, the girl world never stops. This will be up on the channel tomorrow. You can have a cup of coffee and a good uh, stream. I don't know. Live your life. I'm not telling you what to do. But don't lose sleep over girl world. Your restaurant. I do the white So, just going to wait a bit. Aunt Cecilia, thank you so much for the super chat, uh, the super sticker, girl. That's very nice of you. I cooked in a pizza. Celery salt in my hair. Anyway, you want to hear a story time? All right. I want to kind of wait for more people to come in so I don't have to repeat myself. You know. So let's just hang out for a while. <laughs> Okay, I think I might skip ahead because I don't really give a crap to hang out. I'm here for the story time. I want the tea. It is no, it's a rock and roll. This is the dumbest comment I ever heard. It's <laughs> because I'm fat. <laughs> Wait, what? Thank you. Like tapping on. Anyways, all right, so I'll tell you for If they don't want to be seen, they're not with your time. No, I'm just okay. You'll never guess what happened. Oh, come on, man. What clickbaiting us with these? But I hate how she can't tell a story while she's eating because the priority is the food going into her mouth. Like she says two words, takes another bite. These bites are so big. It takes her so long to chew. You can tell she's not even enjoying the tapenade. The first bite she put into her mouth, she had a face of disgust for a second, but then wiped it off quick because it's like, oh no, I'm pretending to be at this fancy restaurant. I have to pretend to like it. She's so full of crap. KD, thank you for the super chat. This is the dumbest comment I ever heard. It's <laughs> because I'm fat. And even if it was, who cares? I'm not losing weight for anybody like that. Jesus fucking tell us the story! Three the videos. Okay, it is <laughs> petty of me, but I'm gonna say it because I like being petty, I don't care. She's drinking my favorite drink right now, or my current favorite drink, a Bloody Caesar, right? It's like a Bloody Mary, but it's made with Clamato instead of just with tomato juice. There's celery salt around the rim of that glass. What is the point of drinking it out of that stupid little straw? You're not even getting the celery salt. What's the matter with you? You can't even drink a drink right. Tabarnak, she gets under my nerves. And it doesn't taste the same if you don't get a little bit of that celery salt, too. She's doing it wrong. Just like everything else she does. I want to 
to say though. Listen, Jay Cormel, I'm gonna teach you something. If you're fucking pretty, it don't matter if you're six hundred pounds, honey. All right, listen. Okay, well then that's a huge problem for you. That's a big if. If you're pretty, ma'am, 16 filters wouldn't help. Look at all of the fake everything on you. Hmm? And it still wouldn't help. Girl, you're not though. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm starting to think this guy really is married. You know why? <laughs> I'm on my way. So I'm, I'm on my way to Montreal. And like, I wasn't even going to see Mr. Coffee. So I know a lot of people are criticizing me saying, well, she can't even keep one of her stories straight one minute to the next. One minute she's supposed to go see Tony. One minute she's supposed to go see Mr. Coffee. I didn't miss email. It changes. Like, for example, so he met Mr. Coffee messaged me and he was like, you know, and I was like, so am I going to see you after? I'm going to be in Montreal. So I'm going to see you, right? Oh, this is, um, Tomato, mozzarella, and basil salad. That's she's so fucking embarrassing. When you put so much food into your mouth in a restaurant that you have to cover your mouth because there's so much food in there you can't chew, you can't even eat properly. She's mortifying. Ma'am, you're out in public. This isn't you just sitting at home in your pajamas on that filthy couch stuffing your face. This is you out in public. What are you doing? Come on. Smaller bites, Chantal. I, I know we say this all the time, but like Mama Saro, there's not one thing that this woman was taught as a child. Like, you know, like the things that you learn as a child, not one thing, no matter what the aspect, no matter what you're talking about, there's, there's like arrested development there. That is so good. Oh my god. It's like a dressing on it. Oh my god, wow. It's like fresh mozzarella or something. Uh, anyway. Hi, Vicky. Is She's claiming to be in a somewhat fancy Italian restaurant. She's surprised that it would be fresh mozzarella. Man, girl, this isn't Cornwall. You're in Montreal now. Everything gets stepped up a bit, okay? This is a real foodie city. Oh, this is not Cornhole with your fucking disco fries parading as a poutine. No, I'm going to see him. So he called, he, he messages me. I'm driving. I made a plan to... I was like, hey, I'm going to go look at some apartments. I'm going to be in Montreal, so do you want to have dinner with me? Well, Jennifer, that's a stupid question. You know that there's knives in Canada. What, what did Koki use to shank those two people? It's a knife. We know there are. She just doesn't know how to use one. Hmm? Some people overuse them, and some people never use them. Interesting. And then he's like, uh, it was glazed balsamic. It's so good, Melody. Then, it's a huge tomato. The message is named Midway. I'm eating alone. Foodie. <laughs> okay. So I made plans to come look at apartments, okay? And Tony is possibly hooking me up with two apartments. So I'm supposed to go see him too. But I told... Yes, Melody. Yeah, good point, cool. DG. That was her words. Fancy yeah, place. Was like, um, yeah, yeah. So he agreed to come out to dinner with me. <laughs> Tweety, I know. We got a bar. Double dipping tonight. Stop it. No, listen. Maybe. He needs a cash down payment. Listen. So. I thought, oh my God, and I know you guys are excited, right? I'm gonna actually go in public with Mr. Coffee and go up to a nice dinner. He messages me when I'm almost in Montreal and he's like, yeah, um, baby, um, I rented a hotel. <laughs> I rented a hotel for us. 
So, let's just say, I don't think Mr. Coffee is going to make it outside of the hotel rooms. That was a lie. That was a lie. And you can tell that it's a lie because she took too long to get that second sentence out. She didn't, she wasn't putting food into her mouth and she took a really long pause thinking about what that second sentence would be. If I had to guess, here's what I think happened. This guy made a plan with her. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever. This Again, this is devil's advocate. This is not, uh, this is assuming she didn't just drive to Montreal to see Koki. Okay. Let's play along. Let's play along and pretend like she's actually talking to this other person. Fine. So the other person makes a plan with her to come, whatever. She starts driving to Montreal. The other person cancels on her because the other person was able to find another date. It's Friday night. Chantal, you are not plan A. You are nobody's plan A. You couldn't be a crackhead's plan A when you paid to be a plan A. You were still a plan like T. Mm -hmm. He found another date. I would bet money. And he didn't want to waste his Friday night on Chantal. So he called and canceled. <laughs> a bloop. I feel it that I'm right. I feel it so hard. I would bet money that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Little brown dog, thank you for the super chat, girl. Uh, what the shit? I just read that where? Uh, she, she doesn't know how to behave. You want to be used tonight? I know. Jesus take the wheel, right? Like he already got the hotel, sent, sent me everything of the location. Uh, and I'm sure she's the one who paid for the hotel. That's why she's saying it like that. So he canceled the whole thing and it's really, and I already paid for the hotel. I got the confirmation and everything. Uh-huh. No nonsense. Thank you for the super chat. Okay. So I'll see you there. I'm like, okay, you want me to pick you up? No, I'm gonna drive myself. I don't even know we had a car because he always takes the butt right now. What? What? Hang on, she's mixing up her imaginary friends. Tony was the one who had the nice car. What do you mean you didn't know that Tony had a car? Tony was the one with the nice car. You've said that so many times, you know, when you were trying to make Koki jealous because he doesn't have a license. So now, um, now you're saying that you didn't know he had a car because he always takes the Greyhound. This whole, a BMW, it was a BMW to be exact. Okay, I couldn't remember. I remember it was a luxury car. It wasn't enough to have a car. It had to be like a better than a 2016 Kia Rio car. You know, oh wait, what? just saying, wait. FFG, speed it up to 1.5 soon. There's going to be music. Thanks, girl. <laughs> Look it out. I love that. Thank you. It was a BMW, Okay. Oh, it was a Benz. Listen, I don't remember. Honestly, I don't remember what it was, but I do remember it was like a fancy car. It wasn't enough to have a car. It was a fancy car. And it was definitely Mr. Coffee. Tony, Tony. I didn't even know he had a car. He always takes the Greyhound. What always? Girl, stop it. Always implies that there's been multiple uh, rendezvous. <laughs> Girl, no. But you said he enjoys the... The, not having to hassle about driving from one, you know, if he's tired, he can just relax and take the train. So, anyway, so I think you guys, <laughs> he must be married or, I don't know, but he really says on his BBW, BB face, and he likes, seems to like me, so, and I mean, it's not, it's enjoyable going to see him because it's so hassle-free, you know? Really? It's hassle-free? You would call this hassle-free? You just drove two hours to get some and that some got something else? And you're going to call that hassle-free? I think that's very hassle-ish. Hassle-y? Hassled? I don't know what you want to call it, girl, but that's 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 a pain in the ass. That's ridiculous. Rad Platt, thank you for the super chat. You're absolutely right. She's very often not our plan A. <laughs> Hi, does he pay in cash? I don't know. He reserves the hotels though, so he must, there must be some kind of trail. Because they're nice hotels, they're not cash hotels.
I actually checked out the last hotel. I'm like, you won't want a paper trail. It wasn't a cash hotel. Credit card. I don't know. All I know is. Oh, my waiters are fucking talking about me. <laughs> I'm probably going to do it for myself, Rini. Really? Because she just used their names interchangeably. She called him Tony twice and then has called him uh, Mr. Coffee once in this stream while she's been sitting there. So in what? 10 minutes? 11 minutes? Is she messing up her imaginary friends again? She messes them up so much. Look, I, I can't even fucking keep them straight anymore. This is insane. It doesn't even matter. I'm not thinking, I'm I'm thinking way too much about this. I'm going to just let it go. It doesn't even matter. All these people are made up. All she did was come to Montreal, rent a hotel, try to seduce the crackhead over to the hotel. He probably didn't bite again. That's why she's at this restaurant alone. She'll go and either sob alone in a hotel or hightail it back to Ottawa so that she can take her edibles and get fucked up. Boom. There. That's her weekend. I mean, it's not that deep. I'm having a nice healthy dinner and I'm going to be full when I go to see him. I know Alfredo, is that what you should eat? Oh, well. And there is absolutely no way in hell that this one would be sitting stuffing her face to that extreme if she was then going to leave and go meet a guy in a hotel. There is no way. Alfredo means she'll be on a toilet in 25 minutes. We're supposed to believe that she's going to eat a meal like that and then go bone in a hotel? No, no, no. She would have finished at the hotel and then gone to the restaurant. That's her pattern. We've seen her do it many times. We saw her even do it with Koki. That's not how she behaves when she's going to go and bone. We watched her go to the hotel multiple times with Koki in Montreal and then escape in the middle of the night to go and drive to the julep to get her food fix. Not ever the other way around. Watch your coin. Yeah. Hi, poetic. So I just want to. I hate. I hate when I hear people say, "Oh." I hate when people don't understand how a man can be with I don't know how a man can be with her. People are multifaceted, you know that, right? A person's fat, a person's skinny, a person's dad bod, a person's muscular, a person has chin hair, a person doesn't have chin hair. Chantal, shut up for fuck's sake. How many years can people tell you the same thing before it starts to sink in? Or will it never sink in? Because letting this sink in would mean that you're accepting the fact that it's not just about your weight. Nobody gives a damn about your weight. When people are, you know, uh, dumbfounded that you have found someone, it has nothing to do with your weight. Stop trying to pretend like people shame you for that. The reason people are dumbfounded or the reasons people are dumbfounded when you find someone is your weight, your personality, your shitty attitude, the smell that you exude. Okay. Um, the fact that you only care about yourself, your person, like <laughs> untreated mental illness, hmm? your inability to take accountability for anything, your arrogance. That's another good one. Yeah. It's, it's everything about you. You could be 120 pound beauty with like big boobs and a big butt and whatever. You would still be a hideous motherfucker. It has nothing to do with your body and everything to do with who you are. Beauty is literally in the eye of the beholder. So if you're wondering why, maybe because you're not attracted to me, that's fine. There's a lot of people who will be. Let's Google him tonight. I don't know his last name. Hi, Jesus Christ. 
This is a weird fresh buffalo. It's really fresh. It's almost like a tofu texture. I'm not kidding. I'm drinking. It's Caesar. Okay, guys, I see you in the chat. That Greyhound doesn't exist in Canada anymore. Greyhound closed in Canada. Yes, 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 yes. We have addressed this a few times now on the channel. I know, I know, we know. There's no more Greyhound. However, Greyhound was such like a industry leader here for so long that like, I don't, I don't even know another word to call that. Would it be a chartered bus? Everybody just calls it a Greyhound. You know, I took the Greyhound. It has nothing to do with actually the company. It has to do with that long distance travel bus thing that you take. Everyone just calls it a Greyhound. It's like the type of bus, you know? So yes, Greyhound has been gone from Canada for a long time, but everybody still calls it the Greyhound, you know? I don't mind. So I prefer sitting in my, on my own in public. Actually, I'm not by myself. I'm with you guys. Exactly. Like Kleenex or Band-Aid. Exactly. I call it like a Tampex is a Tampex to me. I'll never call it a tampon. I call it uh, Javex, you know, like bleach or Clorox or whatever the hell. I call it Javex. Like <laughs> name brands. I don't know. Charmuta Express. Oh my God. <laughs> No, I know his name, Laura, but I don't think I remember his last name. I know his first name. I'm in Montreal. I'm waiting to be called to the hotel. Thank you. Love you. You're Ooh. right, Kyle. <laughs> 2022, age of the uh, YouTube internet. He's certainly not. How are you doing? What, why do you think that a man will give you purpose? I don't think that. I'm kind of delusional. I'm probably waiting for another. If you think I'm waiting for another, you are delusional, honey. Huh? <laughs> I should take a selfie with him and just blur out his face just to show you guys. <laughs> no, just Mr. Coffee. Look at my hair. I wish it was a bit longer or something. <laughs> Did I see any nice places? I wanted to see one place, but it's very small. So I don't know about that. <sighs> that wig is the best one. Don't change it. Then the clouds are high. Well, either that or he's just severely embarrassed with me, Jay Cornwall, like I said. It's a distinct possibility. And she laughs like it's funny. She's cool with that. If if somebody is that embarrassed to be seen with you, that's okay. I'm still cool to go to a hotel and bone them. No. Here's my prediction. Here, or prediction. This is why I think would happen today, okay? Yes, I do think she's looking for apartments in Montreal. And she probably came to Montreal to look for an apartment. And at the same time, she rented a hotel. And at the same time, she's been trying to contact Koki this week. Maybe she just tried to lure him to the hotel. That's why she rented the hotel. But she is actually here looking for apartments. I don't think there's even gigolo money right now. She's got to hold on to that money. She learned her lesson in the summer. You need the first month's rent money to get that lease and get those keys. She just tried to lure her crack into the hotel. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever. Boonie, bun. Is that you, bun? Bun. It is bun. I know it's bun because of the repsy on comment. <laughs> hey, bun. Thank you for the super chat. Don't mind me just popping in to let everyone else know that repsy on sucks. Later, Dana. <laughs> Girl. When I I replied to your tweet today, I literally, like, I I wanted the tea. I, I have no idea who this person was before two days ago, you know? And uh, I, I opened my Twitter two hours later, and I saw the thread just going back and forth and back. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to step out of that. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what the fuck? Anyway, whatever. I mean... 
This is my first drink at Council of Duty. That would be scary. Rhonda, I mean, how am I going to find out? I don't care. Listen, Tweety, why can't life involve all of these other wonderful things you all want me to do? Therapy, you mean your fucking yeah, I saw that reply of yours in the back and forth in that thread, and I laughed. Girl, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's like why I didn't respond. You know, I was like, okay, <laughs> have fun, bun. <laughs> house, whatever you want me to do, and be with men at the same time. Because I love sex. I love men. I love what I love. Sexuality is important to me. Starfishing is an art. Starfishing is an art. That's what I was going to say. If sexuality was that important to you, it would become more priority to you to be able to do more than just lay there and take it. Hmm? If sexuality was really that important, you would want to become an active participant, not a passive. Ah, you'd like to actually get on top and maybe compete with Didi a little bit. Nothing matters to you. Nothing at all matters to you. It doesn't matter to you. Nothing does. You'll just keep paying and just keep laying there starfishing and call that sexuality. Why have you left the seatbelt? <laughs> I didn't bring my seatbelt. I don't know. I'm like pretending to be a lal again. <laughs> Camilla was the ultimate side chick that I worked over. Stop them on the light. Really, Brie? Starfishing is an art, okay? All right. Have, a, have interest. You can live life and then show up. That's true, too. But I will say, Shits and Giggles, welcome to Very Burnt Me. This shit's a view of Ready Shit Beagles. You're starfishing in Toronto tonight? Ooh. <laughs> I mean, I have nothing else to do but to wait. I guess I'm going to jump on him. Ma'am, don't jump on him because you just said it on video and that can be manslaughter and we have you saying it on video. Come on, girl. Don't jump on anything ever. You just fucking lay there and starfish, okay? Chill. I don't think he drinks. I don't think, I don't, I really don't think he's married. But I have no proof of that, so that's on him. Hey, chicken pickles! John Paul is calling and find his ID. I mean, he showed his whole face on the dating app. Usually men, when they're married, they don't do that. They say, contact me, I'm married, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Name things you like apart from traveling, food, and men. Not many things. Is that not enough things to like? What do you want me to say? I like hats. I like food, which is a big, broad area. And I like travel. That's a broad area. I like nature documentaries. I like the two-minute walks by the water. I like to get high. And I like... <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to need to play that back tomorrow. That list is crazy. These are your likes. <laughs> two-minute walks. Star fishing. Getting high. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Chicken pickle. Wait a minute. That's funny. Wait a minute. I cannot read my name without hearing FFG scream it. Chicken pickle. <laughs> I love your name so much. God, Chicken pickle. You from the name to the video. You are just such a clever little shit. I love your. I'm. I am a Chicken pickle stan account. Everybody knows this now. <laughs> like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. <laughs> I love you, Chicken pickle. I like to talk to people and entertain people. <clears throat> Why do you want to try to change my life? There's nothing wrong with it. Other than a few bad habits I should get rid of and any therapy. Intensive therapy. Probably a strong medication adjustment, but besides that, there's nothing wrong with my life. Uh -huh. Okay. 
This is a real question. I'm not saying this to be a hater ass bitch. It's going to come off hater ass bitch. Can anybody come up with one thing in her life that's not a fucking wreck? One positive good thing in her life besides the two cats. If anybody can come up with one, I, I can't think of even one thing. If you look at every aspect of her life and everything in it, it's a wreck. Pete's? Okay. That's a choice. I'm going to hard disagree with that one, but okay. At least that's bees and let bees. Everybody can have their opinion. I'm going to say hell no, <laughs> but whatever. Pizza's a fucking wreck too. That relationship is a dumpster fire. The air freshener in the Kia is not a wreck. Okay. You came up with one. Cassandra, I appreciate you. Hmm. Dreaming full too. Thank you for the super chat. Am I the only one annoyed with the blah, blah, blah? Yeah. Yeah. She says it so much in, uh, you know why she says it a lot, right? You know, when people blah, 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 it's because they're making things up and she's not a good liar. So she's just filling in the blanks with blah, blah, blahs now. Red plaid. Thank you so much for the super chat. I just yelled star fishing isn't art. And Mr. Red yells, oh, for fuck's sake, what should I do now? <laughs> I'm so close to getting him in the girl gang, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> Ancient. Come on, Vera. I'm going to a hotel. My family, they didn't seem embarrassed. They're used to me. This guy could be married with kids. I have hold on. God. I don't think so. I mean, he was able to just just meet me on a whim, like just like that. <laughs> Gave him laxatives, and then he's stuck in the bathroom going through his phone. <laughs> snort in a fancy Italian restaurant. I'm not in a bar alone. I'm in a restaurant alone. <clears throat> I locked my phone after what's his face stole my phone. Remember that time he took my phone? I locked, I put a background that says, don't touch my phone. And it was like eyes like this. <sighs> Oh, okay. That's a little bit of a tell right there. She just called him. What's his face? Hmm. From everything that's ever happened with the two of them. Normally, if she calls him, what's his face? And that matter with that little wispy voice, it's because he's blowing her off. So yeah, I'm going to stick with um, exactly what I thought was going on. She came to Montreal. She rented a hotel. She tried to lure him to the hotel. He blew her off. And now he's what's his face again. She's eating her feelings alone in an Italian restaurant somewhere, probably in LaSalle. It's right next to Lachine. Ah, uh, that's my prediction. LaSalle is kind of an old neighborhood, an old Italian neighborhood. You would find restaurants with that kind of paneling and no coming and going. There's not too much noise, not too many people. That's my guess. She's in the borough right next to Lachine. It's called LaSalle. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Allegedly conspiracy, whatever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eerie T, what? Wait a minute. How do you know that, Eerie T? How do you guys know? It's La Vita in Laval. Why is she in Laval? Okay, that's extra fucking weird. Wait, wait. Okay, I need a Google. We need to Google. I need to know where is this place? Laval is big. La Vita. Hang on, sidebar. Laval. So she like stopped on the way in. Interesting. Interesting. Hold on. I'm afraid to pull up the map on the screen because I'm not, I don't want it to like show you like this is your house. No! You know, <laughs> fucking Google Maps. 
Someone posted it. I can't claim credit. Okay, thanks, Erie T. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Where are you? Show me. Where? T where? Uh, why isn't the map showing me the fucking place? Where's the place? Oh, there it is. Okay. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's like in, like on her way. She's coming. Do you belong from, uh, what do you call? Uh, Ottawa. Yeah, I know, Valentina. That's why I'm not putting it up on the screen. I'm afraid it's going to show, you know, like fucking Google Maps will mark you out. You got to be so careful with that shit. It shows you like, this is your home. This is where your car is parked. You know, fuck piece of shit. Anyway, I'm not popping that up on the screen. Point is, uh, it's in a place in Laval that is sort of like just off of the highway. Um, just off of the, the same highway she would be taking in from Ottawa. Okay. So yeah, she just, what, was trying to maybe contact Koki on her drive because she did end the stream before. Wait a minute, it's all coming together. She ended the stream before and she had said, okay guys, I'll be back later when I'm in Montreal. Cause she probably needed her phone to start harassing Koki and try to get him to the hotel. He blew her off. She got depressed. She's still driving. What is depressed Chantal always want food? There you go. She stopped for some heavy Italian food to eat her feels. And that's why he's, what's his face again? And, and of course, another fake date with a fake friend and everything because always trying to make Koki jealous when he blows her off. It all makes sense. Right? Yeah, Kayla Marie, FFG, she claimed one of her lovers canceled her on the way in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I heard her say that too, but just because she says something doesn't mean shit to me. I almost like completely ignore the things she says. I look for the clues of what's going on to figure out what's going on. And we're always right with that. So... That's my story. I'm sticking to it. This is what happened tonight. Mm. I, look at my hair. All right. I'm going to have to show you Mr. Poppy. There's no other way. And we can out him. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just West Coast Poppy. Girl, thank you for the super chat. Her name be. I didn't have a password on my phone forever because I didn't need one. Look, I was in a relationship with BB for like ever. You shout out Roots. Hi, Roots. Smoke and mirrors. No, I'm pretty much just that shallow, I suppose. No, I'm, I'm interested in the meaning of life, Tweety. I'm interested in growing as a person. I'm interested in becoming better. Mrs. Folgers. Her name is Creamer. Hi, Midnight Munchies. Thank you. <laughs> Graveyard Flowers, thank you for the super chat. My condolences on the breakup. Uh oh. Probably gonna get copyrighted. He probably is married because he's very perfect. Like, he's got his own job, his own car, his own place. And every single time I wanna see him, he's usually available or he wants to see me. He always pays for like everything. Everything. So, I mean, it's just weird. It's like, he seems married to me. What is this shit? Is this French music? Maybe they won't recognize it. Hey, Nova. I'm so glad you're here, girl. Hold on. I'm going to take uh, Justine's advice now and speed her up to 1.5 speed. <laughs> Thanks again, Just saying. That's what I read these flashes. I'm sorry, I don't see your comment. Yeah, I'm supposed to be with Mr. Coffee and around 7.38. Not a relish, honey. Welcome to the very morning. Hi, Tracy. You're welcome. Oh, there's like a DJ outside. This is an interesting place. He would let you know if he was. He would not risk you getting attached to him and exposing him. I don't think he's married. I asked him twice. He's just like, H, H, H. For some reason, I have plenty of Moroccan people I talk to. They do H, H, H as a way of laughing. Same expectations of the same. Oh boy. <laughs> Wait a minute. So this dipshit thinks that if there's a married guy trolling one of those sites, okay, for like to bone and they meet someone to bone and that person says, are you married? 
she thinks that the person's going to say, yes, I'm married. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> She's learned absolutely nothing from the experience with Koki. She's as gullible and naive as she ever was. Wait, is Mr. Coffee Moroccan or was he Turkish? Girl, I don't fucking remember. <laughs> She can't keep them straight. How the hell am I supposed to keep them straight? But for tonight, anyway, he's Moroccan and he laughs with just H's. Uh, Jay, of course, I'm thinking about Mr. Coffee that I love. I get to pretend I'm like, I'm just like, no. I don't know. Did he say he's not going live anymore? Yeah, the right. Very nice usually use. Somebody just brought points. Very nice things for coffee. So what I'm gonna do, sweetie, I want to make a nice home and set it up nice, and I want to have a whole bunch of them over. Secretly, I think what I want to happen is to move up here and just make kind of things we can do, like go out every day. You know, I want to get Is she moving to Laval? Is that why she's in Laval? Because she just said move up here. Is she talking about Laval? Because I can deal with that. I don't fuck around in Laval. I never go to Laval. I can't stand Laval. That's like a fucking drive. You got to cross a bridge and shit. Fuck Laval. No, that's where the traders all move. A lot of people left Montreal and they moved to Laval and that's traders to me. I'm sorry to all Laval people who may be in the chat. I don't fucks with Laval like that. She can have Laval. Okay. Okay. That's a compromise I'm willing to make, Chantal. If you must rent an apartment here. Yeah, the traders. You heard me. I don't take it back. The traders. The traders. When they started building up Laval, uh, all of the Greeks, for example, we used to have a, a neighborhood in Montreal called Park X, and it used to be the Greek neighborhood. It's where you could go and get all the good Greek stuff. Now you know where you have to go to get all the Greek stuff? Fucking Shamadi Laval. Because all of the traders up and moved. Traders. It, I said what I said and I stand by what I said. Listen. <laughs> it's neither here nor there. The point is, I don't fuck around in Laval. So she can absolutely have Laval. If you're going to move here, Laval is yours, ma'am. But please don't ever come to Montreal. You stay in Laval. I'm going to stay in Montreal. And everyone's fine like that, okay? I still love it here. <laughs> Park X, listen, I'm not going to shit on Park X, but like, yeah, you know, it's just not the same. We'll leave it at that. Even, listen, I'm like talking directly to Montreal people. If anybody knows Aphrodite, the bakery, used to be the best Greek bakery we had in this city. There's now two Aphrodites. The original one in Park X is still there. And there's another one in Laval in Shamadi. I swear to God, you go into the one in Park X now, everything tastes like shit. They're making everything there taste like shit. And apparently, if you want to need good Greek stuff, you got to go to Laval. I'm not going to fucking Aphrodite and Laval. They can choke on their fucking spani copitas. I don't give a shit. Ooh, that was a side rage. Let's just get back into this, okay? Traders. Traders. Be able to walk outside of my apartment and just enjoy Montreal whenever I want. And do, do Oh, there's the moment. That's what you were telling about. Jesus fucking Christ, that's a fork. She's forking at her fucking wig in a restaurant. Mm. Oh my God, this is the perfect fucking... Oh, oh my God. Beach and waves. Barbara Taylor, he has a car now before he's... I didn't know Barbara, okay. I did not know he had a car, right? Because he always takes a bus to see me. I've never heard him mention a car until today. Yeah, it's a good idea, Tweety. But in the meantime, I'm Mr. Coffee. The breed, the dingle hopper. Does he move? What is the cash, right? Oh my god, Brittany Marrow says, and she has a comb in her purse. Uh oh, she's so gross, fun. Pity's Rock, thank you so much for the super chat. Her car. 
But I didn't make he didn't make plans with make plans with him last minute. So would he be able to if it was, you know? He could find an excuse maybe. When did I say Italian? When did I say, I didn't say anything about Italian. I wouldn't come for Italians like that. I'm not Italian. I'm allowed to come for my own people. Everyone's allowed to come for their own. I said Greeks. Greeks are the traders who moved to Laval. I was talking about the Italian neighborhood. I was talking about LaSalle. There's two different places. Laval, LaSalle, wait a minute. They do kind of sound the same. Okay, I take back my rage. I don't blame that on you. LaSalle, Laval, to be fair, it does sound exactly the same. Two totally, totally different places not the same. And I would never talk smack about Italians. I'm not Italian. Greek, however, I am. And I will call out all the traitors. How dare you shit on Park X? How dare you take over Laval? Beautiful. Maybe he doesn't take a car. I don't know. I don't know. We're trying to figure out if he's married, but it's mine. Well, I mean, I'm sure Ready, set, greetings. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh, I do love myself that's more. That's why I'm not with Canada anymore. Even though my feelings were anxious. Oh, yeah. Thanks. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, picture it. <laughs> You're the waiter in the restaurant and you put down her plate and you turn around for something else. And when you turn back, she's showing her plate to her phone camera. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Why is he with Didi? There you go. Most men don't like women who are as large as me. What a small mind you have. I feel bad for you. Ah, uh, what the shit was that? I'm going back. Did she just, while using a utensil, like push the food into her mouth with her hand? Can we just watch that a second time? I've never seen anything like that in my whole life. I just want to make sure I saw that correctly. Hold on. Most men don't like women who are as large as me. What a small mind you have. I feel bad for you. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Okay, okay. She pushes the food into her mouth with a fork and then her hand, and then also pushes hair into her mouth from the wig. You're in public. This is so fucking vile. If I was sitting in that restaurant and I could see this, like, I wouldn't even want to eat. She'd be making me so sick. Who the fuck could sit there and watch this? God damn, Chantal, nobody's coming to take the plate away from you. Slow the fuck down. Pretty good. You like the background music? Nope. It has nothing to do with it. Isn't that amazing? Also, she's on. I just went to make sure I'm like, what speed is she on? She just kind of sounds normal. She's on 1.5 speed and she's just kind of speaking at a normal pace. This is definitely al dente pasta. So it's gotta be a real Italian place. Usually the places that are not Italian don't know, but this where are the monkeys? Yeah. How would you play the monkeys out of Nancy's 
oh my god, Tiffany, I know I hate it. And when they do that. Oh, sorry, what did you say? What's reality? No, you don't like the answers that I give you. What's your problem? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Check it for monkey buff. <laughs> it's pretty good food though. It's not bad. I follow Google. Oh, what the fuck? Why did I like know she was gonna do that? She's such a kid. She's such a kid, but like fuck when, okay, when I was a kid, even to slurp a pasta like that and have it just the sauce wild going everywhere. If I was in public, my parents would have told me not to fucking do that shit. So, guys, guess what? Did you forget I'm going to be a model soon? Huh? Are you guys gonna be excited for that? Runway show, please. Where is everybody? Hi. I don't think the comments are updated. I don't know what I have no idea what the hell that thing is behind or some kind of machine. Come on, dude. Oh, what are some of the people who to your chat? Oh, Sarah Kate, thank you for the super chat, big girl. <laughs> I hope you have a great weekend. No, it's hey. it's She's so disgusting. Every bite makes me sick. I'll have them all again soon. Like you're out in a hotel bees. Do you guys think that's a bad sign? Okay. I did look at a place this evening, but it's too small. So the places that are for rent, I think, are, I think there's a, he has a three bedroom and a two bedroom. And then he kissed me. That's okay. Once I close those hotel room doors, just seeing his face, and he's he's always right out of the shower every time I go over there. No, we usually eat, but you know, right out of the shower, eh? Ah, trying to shower his wife's scent off of him, just like I'm sure he's fresh out of the shower right before he leaves the hotel to go home. If this person even exists, allegedly conspiracy, whatever. Hmm. <laughs> Every, I swear to look at every single bite is disgusting. She hasn't taken one bite like a regular human being. Is it great? I'm in the cafeteria. No, I'm not, but I'll show you the place. Do the two bedroom. Well, I was going to do give Pete's the two bedroom available and take the third bed, three bedroom. And then I can have people. Oh, wait, make sure. I can have people. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> There's a two-bedroom apartment and a three-bedroom apartment available. She wants to rent both of them, okay? The two-bedroom apartment should go to Pete's, and the three-bedroom apartment should go to her. What the fuck do these two need five bedrooms between the two of them for? Neither one of you has any friends. Neither one of you ever sees anybody. Neither one of you gets any to, like, you know, have someone over or something. Why can't you just rent the three bedroom with Pete's and that third bedroom becomes, let's say Pete's living room like that. Everybody has their bedroom. Everybody has their own living room. It would be a much, uh, much better roommate situation than you have going on now. A little more like private space for both of you who in their right mind rents two apartments, five bedrooms between the two of you and not one job between the two of you. Nothing makes sense here. Not the, a, po a room for his ponies. Red blood. <laughs> what the fuck? 
that reminded me so much of uh, Hyacinth Bouquet. Remember the sister Violet who had room for a pony? Well, Pete's wants a room for his ponies. <laughs> Day, and then I can have one room for my dog. Spend time in Attica makes sense. Thank you for the super chat. And you need a bed, yeah. So hot in here. Oh. So AC. I'm gonna pull it out. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Michael. Sherry, do you think he's married? Yeah, he's gonna make an office out of the second room, yeah. Right. Hi, Rick Phillips, welcome back. Here's the thing, Lexi, that's a great comment. If FFG, she really thinks her income is gonna stay the same she can't think that like or she's just disbelieving of the whole thing i'm like oh this must be like a fluke couple of months everything will balance back out her views are way down anybody can see that you can go over to her channel and see it for yourself a lot less views than she was making when she was like balling and you know flexing on her paychecks and stuff i do think that she thinks the pay will like go back up but I don't think it will. People are bored of her. Like, I don't, you know, the the, the crackhead Olympics and that cold drug arc and stuff. Mm, that was sort of like a temporary high for her channel. It didn't become the new standard for her channel. The, it, the, the interesting story is over and we're back to boring shit and stuff in your face and stuff. Well, you're back to the old money you used to make. And you definitely were never talking about renting two apartments, five bedrooms in an expensive city like Montreal before. I think she's just uh, slow to accept the inevitability that this is her new normal. Do you remember Mr. Freddie said You don't think he's married? I mean, honestly, I don't. But there's definitely something weird with the whole, like, always. Do you think it's just he doesn't want to go in public? Like, he's not interested in going on a date. He just wants to ask her. I remember you. I told you. I remember all of you. You think I don't? I do, and that's why I'm close to my community. But that's also a hindrance sometimes because people care too much. And... By the way, done. Daisy and Onslow. Yeah, they were the better ones, the funnier ones, anyway. And our Rose, the skanky sister, you know? <laughs> I love them, they were funny. People have to learn at the end of the day, you are just going to live your life for you, which is how it should be, not influenced by YouTube. Look up, think of it as a nature documentary. You don't interfere with nature when you're filming nature documentaries, but it's not the same because here's the thing. I think <laughs> closet of Chevy Chase from Paris, which is I don't know. Crabby Joe, thank you so much for the super chat girl. You think he's a closet of Chevy Chaser? Well, that's okay. Does he ask you to not wear perfume or scented stuff? Nope. He doesn't make any demands. He's every time I talk to him, make plans with him, it's effort. It's so effortless for me. Oh my so god! Don't so fence me at FFG. Do they have trailer parks in Montreal? No, I. You know what? I, I read your comment. I was trying to picture. Have I ever seen? No, we don't. Do they make winterized trailers? I don't even know how that works in the winter. But no, we do not have a trailer park in Montreal. So, oh. maybe he's just comfortable with this for now. Sort of, yeah, cousin. Am I just looking for hookups? I'm not really looking for anything. I have a very open mind right now. And Weekend mom, you guys have in Ottawa? Oh, shit. That's so interesting. They have trailer parks in Alaska. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I'm fucking ignorant on this. I know nothing about this. But you know what? My grandfather a long, long time ago, used to own a trailer park in upstate New York in a place called Shay Z. I guess it would make sense that, yeah, they would have to be warm enough for winter. People weren't exactly just like going there in the summer. I didn't even think before I threw that out there. <laughs> My bad, y'all. And if I'm attracted to a man, I'm single. I'm single. He's single. No, Erica, we're going on a hotel. 
Oh yeah, if he does shower after a little bit of care. So when you're pregnant and see how he reacts. Raven, <laughs> no, no shade at all. I've seen, oh my God, I, you guys ever watch those videos? I don't know if they pop up and you're recommended to on YouTube. And they're about like luxury trailers and stuff and how beautiful they are inside. Um, yeah, a lot of those trailers are a lot fucking nicer than my house. I would love to have one of those trailers. You own your house. I aspire to own a house. Nothing wrong with that shit. I wish I could have one. One of those fancy dancies though, like the little, like the wide ones. And there's like stairs. There's almost like a, what do they call those in there? A loft up in there for the bedroom. Beautiful. Love those. Want one. I think I already told him I can't have kids. You're old enough to be a grandmother. <laughs> you should care about a new home. I do care about a new home. I'm caring about, I came up here to look for a new home. I care about a new home. I don't want to be with married guys. If I know they're married, that's it. Pray for few on his clothes. Someone getting their pizza dough needed today. I want to go now and go in my air conditioning car. He's probably neutered. About three thousand dollars a month for both apartments. So that's a good deal. What can you pay for your own privacy? It's priceless. Stuff a wig into his overnight bag. About three thousand dollars a month. So okay, I'm sorry. I, I missed her the price. That's what I wanted to go back for. She's gonna now throw down three thousand dollars a month for the two apartments. That's an irrationally good deal. As I'm thinking of like what the price must be a, a three bedroom and a two bedroom. How the fuck? They must be in Laval. Is that, it, it's got to be can't be in Montreal. That's way too cheap. There's no fucking way. Good deal. What can you pay for your own privacy? It's priceless. It's not a wig into his overnight bag. It's not a dress. It's a tank top. Oh, good, good. Um, whatever you want, can I just get the bill? Thanks. Leave it. It was okay. It was good. What's wrong? Shut up and leave. You guys think I should live with peace again? Just for like a little context, people in this city right now, yeah, Fanny, maybe Longay, maybe like on one of the suburbs or something. It could be. Because in Montreal right now, um, I mean, to find a studio under a thousand dollars is like a gift. And very like that doesn't even fucking exist anymore. A one bedroom is like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars. It the rents went out of control in this city in 2017. I don't know what the hell happened, but rents used to be decent in the city. Like you could find places pretty damn cheap, get a good deal, you know? 2017, something happened in the city and everything is fucking astronomical now. It's insane. Uh, Yeah, I'm talking like studios or one bedrooms for like 1,500. I don't understand how she's gonna find a three bedroom and a two bedroom and pay 3,000 for the two. It can't be in Montreal. Can't be. No way. Sonia, thank you for the super chat, girl. Unless there's such such shitty apartments, maybe like basement units or something. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, something sus. What? $1,500 for a two-bedroom in L.A.? No, I know nothing about the rent prices in LA, but that seems very low. Like you couldn't find out in Montreal. That would be like a deal in Montreal. Oh, cool. You know, but it's in the same building. That's why. Put your bra on the back of his shirt. You guys are really trying to see if this guy's a scumbag, aren't you? Maury or Jerry Springer bees? <laughs> If you get two places and pizza blows up and needs a woman, you will be alone. 100% ready for that. I want Pete to find a woman and do good in life. I want him to do well without me. This is the whole point. He's a businessman with a wife with a company that pays for his hotels because they can write it off. There's definitely something going on. I don't know what. But I know I'll find out. In the sunshine. Oh, this is not going to be monetized. Who else is new? I guess I can't pay for two apartments now. 
I mean, Same. Like, y'all know how cheap I am. My, my eyes twitching at the thought of all those wasted bedrooms and wasted space and wasted no. rent money. Oh, I, no, no, no. That's okay. You don't have to believe them. But they are true. Even the piggy. He was, I did. He's like, I'll explain to the hotel. Then he sent me a long voice note for the girl being like, well, you know, it's, um, I'm not going to be able to, uh, you know, it's kind of last minute, so I'm not going to be able to make it to the center, city center, and maybe we can plan it another time. It was a rig. It sounded like a, a roundabout way of making up an excuse. Now I'm going to give him shit tonight. Like, I'll go in a joking way when we're in bed. I'll be like, so you don't want to see me seen in public with me? Are you married? Or <laughs> so who are we meeting up with, Mr. Coffee? Excuses. <laughs> Maybe he just didn't want to bother getting ready and driving there. He's getting ready and driving to the hotel. Never know how many times. Kiss me, my darling. You're right, just saying. You're right. I'm not cheap. I'm frugal. You're right. <laughs> West Coast girl, thank you for the super chat. Oof, yeah. Vancouver is probably the worst in Canada. I'm in Vancouver. One bedroom is 2300 Yikes. No, thank you. I'm good. It was good. I'm just good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. You're eating meatloaf with impossible meat. Your cat gave it an egg look. Your cat's a carnivore. That's why. Imagine being in a in a Riviera side Italian restaurant in Italy with having dinner with a hot Italian. I'm going to be pretty honest here. If she's being honest about um, the prices of these rents, I have a feeling they're about to move into a, a complete dump. So, <laughs> I don't know. Her coming from Motel 6 and shit, ma'am, ma'am. Oh, that's so interesting. You know, I never really thought of that before. Sarah Kate, my mortgage on a double wide trailer, five bedrooms, two bathroom is 1078 a month. That's a great deal. Wow. That's huge. I'm in Arkansas. You know what I found really interesting? I never thought of that before. You said my mortgage on a double wide trailer. Just if I had to guess, I wouldn't have thought it was a mortgage. I would have thought it was like a vehicle loan. Oh my God. I am way too gelato minted for this. A mortgage on a trailer or a vehicle loan on a trailer. You're right. I guess it's not really a vehicle if it doesn't have the car attached to it. To pull. It's just the, the vessel to be pulled. However, if you got to get, okay, you know those things where you can put like uh, horses into the back? Uh, what? Okay, am I explaining this right? It's like like a thing to move horses and you attach it to the back of a car and you put the horses in there and you tug the horses, right? Trailers don't move. Wait a minute, what? I'm confused. I thought you can just like take the trailer... <laughs> I thought you like attach it to the hook, the hatch or whatever the fuck they call those things. You know that ball you can attach to the back of your car? Hatch. I don't know what the fuck that thing's called, but you know what I mean. Like where you would attach a U-Haul thing. <laughs> a hitch. Okay, that was close. Hatch. Man, hatch, hitch, potato, potato. I thought you could just like drive off with your trailer. <laughs> it's not an RV. Okay, wow. It's not an RV. <laughs> I'm way too gelato minted for this, but y'all are teaching me something. I never realized. I, okay, I really thought you could just kind of pull in the walls on that thing, stick it on one of those, uh, what do they call, pickup truck, and like, like go off with your home and like park it somewhere else. Huh. 
Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me something tonight. I feel like such a fucking moron. Holy shit. It's not the same. Okay. So you can't just drive off. So like, okay. I have so many follow-up questions now. You buy your trailer. You get the mortgage. Let's say you buy your trailer. Somebody comes and brings it to the spot. Do you pay for the land? How do you get the land where you're going to put it? It's not on wheels. I swear, until right now, I thought it was. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Prefabricated house. Huh. Do you pay for the land? Do you have to? You pay space rent. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. So you have to get a mortgage for the thing, but you're renting the land? What if they're like, I don't want to rent you the land anymore. Well, you're like, well, now I'm fucked because I got my trailer and I'm not able to drive off with it the way I thought you were. Then you're screwed. Lot rent. You lease or own the land. Oh, you can buy the land. Okay, so let's say in theory, maybe you buy the land or you arrange to rent it. And then you get your mortgage and you go and get your trailer. And then what, somebody comes and delivers it or comes and builds it on the spot for you? Because if they deliver it, then how do they get it there? Doesn't it drive there? I'm so confused. Do they build it for you on your piece of land? Yes, I am baked. That has That's neither here nor there. Baked or not, this is all new information for me. Delivers it in pieces. It comes in two or three pieces. Whoa. Oh, well, I know what I'm going to watch on YouTube when we're done this stream. This is riveting. Do they put it together for you or do they come and just drop you off the three pieces and they're like, good luck building your fucking house and you got to figure out how to put that shit together yourself? Does it come with an instruction manual like an Ikea furniture thing? Is there like Allen keys involved? Or they set that shit up for you and you just literally go and open the door to your home. They put it together. Okay, well, that's nice. Lord knows I wouldn't trust myself to be putting a house together. Double wide, wait, wait. Double wides come in two halves and put them together. See, I thought these things were on wheels. I thought they all had these wheels uh, and that double wides. But now I'm realizing I have an RV in my head. I thought you press some button and the walls like expand and boop. Now it's double wide, but you could also have a single wide. You just press the other way button and like, and the walls pull in. And then if you wanted to like drive away. Okay. okay. <laughs> no, when you would like place it in place, I thought there's like these like arm things that come down on the ground. And then when you want to drive, you just pull up your little arm things and then boop, you got your wheels and you, you put it on the hitch and you just fucking take off with your trailer. That's an RV. See, I thought they both kind of worked. I, I realized they were two different things, but I did think that they worked exactly the same way. Huh. Interesting. Well, thanks for that. This was quite the sidebar. I'm riveted now to watch a video of somebody putting one of them together. I, I need to learn all about this stuff tonight. I'll, I'm going to be watching videos. Those are campers RVs. Yeah. I just thought they both kind of worked the same way like that. I thought an RV was like smaller, but like basically it's sort of the same thing. You know what I mean? I thought it was more like the size difference was the different name thing. Uh, that's the Jetsons. <laughs> I may have watched too many cartoons and not like, again, we, we don't have like, tra I don't know trailers like that. I know trailers from like TV. You know what I mean? I, I don't know why I never really thought of this before. I'm not that high, chill. I just, I'm ignorant about this stuff. I have no fucking idea. I've never been either in a trailer or an RV. I, I've just seen these videos that pop up on my YouTube and stuff. I really did work. Sunny Vales are all single wides, LOL. Yeah, and I just assumed they could drive off with them. Huh. Mobile homes. Yeah, wait a minute. Mobile homes is trailer, right? How come it's called a mobile home if it's not actually mobile? That's false advertising. Or is mobile homes RV? I'm Now I'm even more confused. Uh, is a mobile home an RV or a trailer? <laughs> Literally waiting for the answer. I'm like, now I'm, I'm curious. Is Okay, does anyone know? Is a mobile home an RV or a trailer?
Mobile homes are also called trailers. Okay. Okay. Well, if mobile homes are called trailers, how come a trailer is not an actual mobile home? That doesn't even make sense. That's probably why I thought, I swear to God, that is probably why I thought you could just drive off with both of them. They're different. Oh God, this is getting complicated. So there's a third thing now. Now there's a trailer, an RV and a mobile home. What? Trailer is too general of a term. Okay. Girl, go to bed. Shut up. You don't tell me when to go to bed. <laughs> Research on your own. Oh, Stir Marie. Am I, am I annoying you, Stir Marie? Because I was about to pivot, but we could stay on this topic. Since you want me to research it on my own, I will not. I refuse to. Let's ask some more mobile home questions. Stir Marie, what do you know about mobile homes? Tell me about the mortgage terms. Is it like a 25-year mortgage? Is it like, how does it work? Specifically, Stir Marie. Hmm? <laughs> Sandra, thank you for the super chat, girl. I closed on my house today. Ooh, congratulations. That's fantastic, girl. Sandwich or burger. We need Vivian. Okay, listen, we'll get back to the reaction, fine, but I'm not letting this go. I'm going to do my own little research, you little hater ass bitch, Star Marie, okay? <laughs> After this stream, I will watch a few videos. I want to watch this thing being put together. But I have more questions tomorrow. I need to know why it's called a mobile home if it's not mobile. Hmm? Y'all laugh at me like I'm fucking crazy, but I'm not so fucking crazy. It's called a mobile home and it's not mobile. That makes no sense. Shoehorn, thank you so much for the super chat. If a mobile home is not, oh my God, the mobile home is just like foodie beauty. She's not a foodie and it's not mobile. Hmm. hmm, hmm. Trailers are built in a factory and brought to a location. They aren't things to carry. <laughs> they are things to carry. I love that. Well, thank you for the info. Let's, we'll move along. Okay. I'm going to press play on the video. 55, so I can see 55. Yeah, I got, yeah, I put it in there. I got Alfredo appetizer and a drink. Uh, the drink was like $8. I got it. Anyway, I'm treating myself. Eerie T, thank you for the super chat. Never! Don't tell me how to live my life, girl. <laughs> I didn't say hi to me because he said I had corn. Did corn corn do? I miss paneer corn do. Is there a washroom somewhere? Let's go look for a washroom. Yeah, I'm just wearing like a little cat hair, but whatever. Is there a bathroom? Look at you guys all. You're all bullies. I don't need all this bullying in the chat. Stacey Lee, thank you for the super chat, girl. This way, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. It's like a... Mm -hmm. Okay. One more thing. Pizza, my pizza. My brother lives in an RV on my front yard. RV is the ones that can drive off, right? Yes, it is the one that can drive. I suppose that's the best situation, right? Because if he pisses you off, he can tell him to piss off. <laughs> Get your RV out of my lawn and he can drive away with it. Or is he stuck there? <sighs> yes. Okay, good. I suppose that's ideal. She's in the bathroom now. We're in the bathroom with Foodie Beauty. Wait. Yes, I go with the handy capsule. There's just more room. Okay, the V in RV is vehicle, but it's called the mobile home and it's not mobile. Oh so nothing means anything anymore. Okay. Nothing. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Yeah, look, there's the comb. So she just decided to use the, the fork in her hair for no reason. Oh. Now, let's go to the car. 
Someone walks in. You wish. Freaking pizzas. Yeah, thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. To the top. Oh, that was stupid. I didn't fucking. Oh, whatever. Spleen for soul. Thank you so much for the super chat, girl. It's a trailer, not Optimus Prime. <laughs> I just thought they could like shape shift a little. Wet. 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 All right. So I have about a 20 minute drive to the fucking hotel. So I gotta go at soon. No. Oh, gee, I really love you. Hold on. P day today. Thank you for the super chat. I would love to do that. Well, not tonight. I'm. I think I'm a little too loopy for anything tonight. We can definitely do that tomorrow, though. I'll save it. I'll find this video. I won't watch it on purpose. We'll watch it together. That sounds like a job for the Twitch. Maybe we'll do it on the Twitch. Sounds crazy enough to be a Twitch thing. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Do I taste like Alfredo? Mm. So, if I move here, you guys know we're gonna have fun beezing, and I'm gonna be dating up the yin yang. But I have boundaries now. How are you gonna starfish when you're out of breath? <laughs> my inhaler takes about 20 minutes, it takes me about 20 minutes to get to the hotel. So, I'm good. Thanks for your concern. Why would you eat milk-based foods before a hiccup? Hook up. Because I'm honestly comfortable, I think, with Mr. Coffee that I don't really care. I think he's like the type of guy who knows that everyone poops, you know? <laughs> Ooh, Gina B, thank that you for the super chat. chat. I definitely will. I love John Oliver. I thought I seen a John Jean... Everywhere I turn, there's a John Cate too. I'm seeing things. What time is it? 7.30? I'm going to go in like a few minutes, guys, and then go meet him. And then once you have a nice home with nice things, you will project feeling good and the right man will be there everybody knows everybody poops but not everybody wants to be there when you're doing it i thought that was a song yes you see yeah, nemesis a fellow montrealer also knows nothing of the trailer like rvs and motorhomes and 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 mobile homes and stuff we don't we don't have that stuff here we don't know so just have a nice home i'm gonna have a nice home Yes, Lambo, bubble guts on a date for no reason because obviously <laughs> I hate dating. Public knowledge, thank you for the super chat, girl. I talk to a lot of men, but I don't meet up with all of them that I talk to. So I don't bother telling you guys about the ones until I thought Mitten was the one. <laughs> the one for one day. I'm embarrassed just even talking about it. See? The stress. Look what I'm doing just to date right now. I'm just kidding. I need to focus on my life, I know. Bambi, thank you for the super chat and the info, but that makes no sense at all. I said that too. I said, they're all going to get mad whenever I come online and say I don't have a boyfriend anymore. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a movie theater here. Not a boyfriend, I can say. Let's go to a movie instead of a hotel bed. He tricked me. Oh, I'm joking. Okay, I'm going to go now. I love you guys. <laughs> There's North American women without FUPAs messaging him. <laughs> oh my God. How funny is it to see the picture of him with me and the FUPA showing? <laughs> yeah, no, anyone's going to have to totally just accept me as I am. And uh, you know what? That's fine. I can handle rejection at least. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. You handle rejection so well that you've been stalking your boyfriend. Your, your boyfriend. Whoa. I'm sorry, I'm really off tonight. You've been stalking your crackhead non-boyfriend for the past 10 months while he lives with another woman. You you deal so well with rejection. Uh, you dealt so well with rejection the first night that he wouldn't answer your 16,000 calls that you put on that crazy dress, hid your chin in it, and went to do an attempted B&E &E all the way in Gatineau. That's how well you deal with rejection. Capricorn NJ, thank you for the super chat. A mobile home house trailer park home trailer or trailer home is a prefab structure factory built on a permanently attached chassis before being transported to site by being towed or on a trailer. But then why would they call it a mobile home? It's not really mobile. That makes no sense. You can schlep anything on a trailer. It doesn't make it mobile. That makes it not mobile. It's just not logical. Who names this shit? 
maybe they've changed over the years. Oh my God. Maybe they all had wheels. Maybe it's from like back in the day and they used to be called mobile homes because they were actually mobile. Cause it makes no sense. <laughs> sort of. Thank God speed. I don't know. This active garbage bag, by the way, really good. There is a Jonka too. Mm. She's so gross. Are you gorgeous? Nope. <laughs> Jeff, same. Thank you for the super chat. I am honey mustard. I don't know. When I'm in front of a man, it just says something to me like, starfish in your eyes. So you guys want me to go live later? I don't know if I'm sleeping there. Maybe he's mad because I never sleep over. I don't know. Stop it, girl. Huh? Should I lower my expectations? Absolutely not. Because I'm a catch. Fuck that. I am. So what if I'm fat? And I'm not taking. Mr. Coffee text me, please. <laughs> Who is that in the picture with their arms crossed? Eerie Pepperoni, thank you for the super chat. That's an interesting point. Look, let's be honest. Foodie Beauty would be better off in a double wide tent. She's built like one. And let's uh, anyone go in. <laughs> That's all. Have a good night. That's really funny. You know what? A tent is not such a bad idea. Think about it. They make those big ass tents for like fucking 12 people or whatever. And she's short as all hell. So am I. No shade. It's just a point. You'd easily be able to stand up in a tent. I can always stand up easy in a tent. Like I'm short. I don't have to crouch in a fucking tent. Uh, you have an eight room, an eight bedroom, you could call it. It's for like 12 people or whatever. And when it gets filthy, like every place that you ever live in does, you can just up and walk away, go down to Canadian Tire, buy yourself another freaking tent and set it up in another place. Bears. Oh, yeah. Bears would be a problem. <gasps> she could set up the tent in her mother's backyard. There you go. Boom. You know how many problems that solves for her? No more rent to pay. you got your mother right there. When you need to borrow money, you don't have to drive an hour. It's just like, hey, Ma, can you lend me some money, Ma? <laughs> Ma, can you lend me some money till payday? <laughs> Ma, can I come in and use the toilet? <laughs> This is the solution. I really like this one because I don't think it's fair that Mama Saro unleashed this beast into the world and the world has to deal with her. I think it would be very fair that she lives in Mama Saro's backyard. Maybe on like the coldest nights of winter to be nice, Mama Saro could let her come in and like sleep in the basement. I don't know. Not my problem. <laughs> oh my God, you guys make me fucking laugh. <clears throat> Yeah, Baroness Boomer. Okay, fair. Cold ass yeah, winter living conditions. Like However, she sweats her way through winter anyway. It's not that deep for Chantal. Spaghetti. Hi, Danny Pickles. It's about being in control of your life. Yeah, I know. Which I'm not right now. She named the baby queen. <laughs> I'm glad it's yeah. fun. <laughs> Patricia, thank you for the super chat, girl. Picture you pee after her. He's the kind of person who knows people pee, so it's okay. <laughs> what time are you going to be up till, Brooke? All right, what time do you, what is time is everyone going to be here until if I go live? I don't know, though. Like, <sighs> 48. The size of my ego? Really? You find that I have a huge ego? How can I be insecure and have a huge ego? Actually, that is possible, isn't it? <laughs> I don't have a big ego. See? Taz D, thank you for the super chat and for the info. All the mobile home tea. I appreciate it. You're not ancient. You're just DDH'd. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm going to get sued because of one of my date slips and breaks his back because of her drip dry snail trail. <laughs> my ego's an XXL. I'm hyper. I haven't slept for almost two days. Oh, hey, Louise. Welcome back to Very Important Baby, Louise. Ready, sit. Rebees. Yeah, if you've been here before, you got to rebees. And if I remember, which I usually remember, everybody. Please text me. Okay, fine. I'm going. I gotta drive now. Put my GPS. I hope you're not going to another Bugs In. <laughs> it's never Bugs In. Remember that? The night's in. It's never Bugs In. Ma'am, you stayed at Calibri. <laughs> 
that dump hotel in uh, NDG. Girl, uh, anyway, I told the story when we were young and we would go fuck around in the hotels and stuff. I don't know anybody, even at that age, who went to Calibri. Calibri is the place that you, oh, yeah, right, allegedly conspiracy, whatever. <clears throat> Calibri is the place that uh, dr drug transactions went down. Um, there was a bunch of murders. <laughs> Shady shit, okay? Nobody's going to do it. Yeah, Calibri, that's what it's called. What? That's what it was called, Calibri. What? <laughs> I don't know. Right across the street, there's, um, what? I don't even know what they call it. Sh Sh Shabliss? No. Charbol. That's what they changed the name to now. When I was a kid, back in the day, it was called, um, what do you call it? Uh, Chablis. Motel Chablis right across the street, pretty much. It's it's still a dump. That's like where you take hookers. So it's it's like a step up from across the street. You know what I mean? And she, at the age of 38 years old, took her crackhead non-boyfriend to Colibri. <laughs> I forgot how funny that was. Oh, my God. I should go make a video one day. Just pan the camera in front of Colibri. Oh my God, I'll rent a room just to go in and just pan the camera around the room. You guys got to get a look at this place. Oh my God, I think this is happening. You need to see this place. No tell motel yet. She's been to some real shithole places in Montreal. Colibri takes the cake by a long, long... They, they, they had some Google reviews and stuff. People talking about all the blood that they found in their fucking rooms and stuff. It's crazy. Okay, I think that's good. We're going to do this. We're doing this. <laughs> Bobby Page, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, shit. A studio is too grand. That's more than Montreal. That's for sure. Yikes. I was driving to Cornwall. I seen the crabby little old owner walking down the street. I felt like fucking yelling, your grill sucks. <laughs> There's puke on your sheets, asshole. The rodents in. Vomit in. We're not going to bugs in. We're going to vomit in. I don't know. Would you want to be on if you were <laughs> right now? Taking them to crappy hotels. So I don't know if it's the room that's smelling or Oh my God, take them to crappy hotels so they don't know what smells, the room or me. Well, that says it all, doesn't it? Ah, Eerie T, thank you so much for the super chat. I will look up yurt. So what do I need to be accountable for? I know I do things that are not good. Like doing too many edibles and... No, I don't feel bad about certain things. I don't feel bad for telling off Julia Rockford. You're not going to make me feel bad about it. I feel bad for saying that that molasses lady looks like a horse. That was a little blow. Guys, I hate when people like this lose weight and think, because she was like, well, I had to lose 20 pounds to be with um, that McHenry guy. That's you. You don't understand that just because a guy's not attracted, a guy's not attracted to you because you're fat, doesn't mean that he's not going to be attracted to someone else because of their weight. Everyone is different. Everyone has a different vibe. Everyone, you know, like, whatever. Oh, we will. Girl, uh -huh. Lauren, thank you for the super chat. We're doing retro reacts slowly over on the Twitch. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She did come for me first. Yeah, but you know, like, lowering to these people's level is what I fucking hate about myself. I hate every time I do it. So, sometimes it's hard to bite your tongue because it's like, are you fucking for real? <laughs> yeah, I never lose weight for a man. Are you fucking kidding? And he still doesn't like you. So it wasn't your weight. There you go. You lost 20 pounds for nothing. For your health, congratulations. That's hard to do. But he still doesn't want you. So your weight loss is proof that that doesn't fucking matter. Hello? <clears throat> What the shit is she even talking about? I tuned her out so long ago. We're back to talking about fucking weight and shit. Girl, you you just said you had to rent a shitty hotel so that people couldn't smell if the stink is coming from you or the hotel. Do you really think your weight has anything to do with anything? It really doesn't. There's a million other reasons to be disgusted by you. The the weight is nothing. Sussy Wolf Cat, thank you for the super chat, girl. That's not attractive? Well, oh well. I'm kidding. Were you able to talk things through? Oh yeah, I don't have a problem with her. It's it's a man is not fulfilling my life. 
I'm fulfilling my life. Like I'm do I really want to do things. I really want to move to Montreal. I want to do this fucking fashion show. Are you guys excited for that or what? Are you? Come on, we don't talk about it enough. Because no one cares. I mean, everyone knows you're not gonna fucking do it. No one cares. Don't like me. I would not be lazy about something I'm passionate. You're right. I'm not totally lazy. I'm just in a fucking rut, but I can be very lazy, yes. You're right. No, I am a lazy person, and that's easy to pick up on. Like, even what's his face knowing me for maybe like a day was like, You're lazy, aren't you? You're moody, aren't you? Like, so men must be able to pick up on it easily. I mean, I go to the hotel and I literally take my flip-flops off, I give him a hug and a kiss, and I lay on the bed sideways with my leg like this. <laughs> like I do on my I'm so fucking lazy. And then I lift a leg and that's it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, she's really not kidding and she giggles like a lunatic because she thinks it's cute or something. What the fuck is cute? This is the stupidest thing. I oh. What is lift a leg? <laughs> Girl. You said you're so sexual of a person. If there's ever been any motivation to like lose some weight, fuck, wouldn't that be it? If you really were that sexual of a person, wouldn't you want to do more than just lift a leg and fucking lay there? I don't get it. I was it's not even like what's the appeal? There is no fucking appeal. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Stop talking about these things, Chantal. You're you're ridiculous. This is fucking embarrassing. A wine tropic fashion show. Draw me like one of your French guns. If people want to lose weight, they should try my physiotherapy workout. Oh, okay. No, he means he misses you guys. That's what he means by I miss you. Natter will never, would never say a single nice thing about me online ever. And that's why he's a fucking asshole. <clears throat> that was mean. Sorry. Anyways. All right. Do a jumping jack. Cutting off a limb per week, Vicky. Delayed gratification is the most important skill a person. Yeah, but look, delayed gratification, we only have one life. What if there's no time for that shit? No, I, oh, I hope that's her next tattoo. <laughs> delayed gratification, question mark. But we only have one life. That sums up everything. That says so much about Chantal right there. <gasps> She's like the opposite person of me. Holy shit. You know those people, we only have one life and life is short and blah, blah, blah. I'm the opposite. I never say life is short. I say life is long. Life is long. Delayed gratification is amazing. Mm -hmm. Um being cheap, putting things aside because life is long. Doing things you know are good for you for the long term because life is long. That's a, a mentality. That's my whole fucking mentality is life is long. This lunatic, life is short. You don't know how long you're going to have. Don't deny yourself anything. That's why you're 400 pounds. That's why you, you're, you're so fucking gluttonous no matter what the thing is substance is drug is drink is it's everything to excess everything like like it's your last day on earth it's just insane to live your life like that how she goes broke lives paycheck to paycheck it's it really it's it's like it goes to sort of everything in your life too eh? oh yeah yeah i know what you mean i'm learning this lesson now like the delayed gratification because I keep learning the hard, I, I'm not learning that lesson. I keep making the same mistakes over and over. And that's why it's a cycle. Same mistakes over and over. I just need, I need to move and make this a fresh start. I'm like a fresh start person. I cannot clean up my life where I am right now. I mean, I would if I had to, but I already learned to walk. I know, I need to adult. Okay. I'm gonna She's not going to clean up anything. You, you move to Montreal to clean up your life. That makes no sense. Changing the location doesn't change the person at all. It's going to be same shit show in a different city. It's the only thing. The venue has changed. Nothing else has changed. Here's my other prediction. If she actually moves to Montreal, get ready for a massive weight gain arc. She's already obsessed with Uber Eats and she lives in an, uh, an Ottawa suburb where the options would be very limited. Uber Eats in Montreal, girl, oh 
there's not enough cocaine on this planet to save you for what's about to happen. Holy shit. Lucy, thank you so much for the super chat. I go now. You have to. I have to, Miss Holly. Yes, yes. I know I need to change. You did, Natters? Oh my god. Anyways. Oh, okay, I gotta go before everything gets all fucked up. Oh no, goddess mm -hmm. of pain. I knew it. This is gonna be bad. I'm glad you guys are alive right when I'm in Montreal, so you can see that we're not together. There you go. <clears throat> An outfit update? A geographical. Yeah, what if the place you're living in is just depressing? That can help to get out of there and a new start, you know? But yes, you can't at the same time, you can't run away from yourself. So I get that, you know? A little bit of both going on. You know? Anyway. Thanks, Jits and Giggles. Hey, 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 hey. Don't fence me in. How dare you? Whose side are you on here? <laughs> How dare you wish her on my city? We have enough problems in the city. We don't need this one. That No, I don't want her here. It's fucked up. There's like an imaginary line of a border separating us. And it's good enough for me. A two-hour buffer is good enough for me. I don't want this in my city. That's not fair. Cornwall should have to take her back. It's not fair. You're on the side of entertainment. At what, at what point do we draw the line? I draw the line the moment she's about to move into my city. No, that's not entertaining for me. That's some bullshit. Everything is going to be all right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Imagine how much it's going to scare her when she moves here. Boo, bitch. <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't know why. Do I look okay? No. I'm too good and I don't know it. Oh, thank you. I don't like to think that I'm better than anyone else, but that's why I don't think that. <clears throat> but when it comes to treating people good, I think I'm better. Or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just different. Treating people good. I didn't even do English school. And I know that that is not English. English major. Treating people good. I got a twin in Quebec. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Jenny. It's going to be all right. I saw myself shot. <laughs> Wait, she'd be cow tipping me if she moves to my city. Fine, I'll take it. I agree. No cow tipping, bitch. Don't come here. Certain cases with this stuff. The vegan teacher lives in Montreal. Who do you want me to kick their ass for you, Nakakato? I'm here. I'm just kidding. Do you want me to go throw some fucking vegan nuggets at him? They're gross, anyways. Actually, I do like vegan nuggets in some some sometimes. Sometimes I crave craves tofu. I don't know why. I saw myself short. Oh. Hey, FFG, imagine running to, into her at a grocery store if she moves to Montreal. Okay, if I ever run into her in a grocery store, I'm taking out the phone. I'm going to be filming the whole damn thing. I'm going to go and grab some, you know, those little, little tomatoes, like fucking little, little, like cherry tomatoes. I'm going to follow her around the store screaming all her most disgusting moments. And this is for the ra the Cuba rage. You're racist. You're, you're an anti-Semite. You're this, uh, and I'm going to be pelting little fucking tomatoes at her the whole way through the store while filming. And I'll keep doing it until they throw me out of the store. I vow that to you guys now. Burden blame the world. Oh, by the way, the ladybug was still in my car. And I let it out. One you guys will bail me out. I appreciate that. Oh, Thanks. Come on. Chantal versus Nikocado Brawl? No. Oh, yeah, I guess that would be funny. Oh, my God. I want to be roasted by Orlin. Be confident this time and get on top and star squish. A new term! Star squish! I never, that's why, that's maybe why I missed the sex with what's his face because I never had to worry about that. You know? <clears throat> Remember, I would talk about that. Kismet. 
I felt weightless. But I don't mind being heavy, so. You have to constantly tell yourself it's okay to be fat. Maybe not for health reasons, but love yourself as who you are. Huh? Pinier Pondu! Did you change your name back to Pinier Pondu? You want to go to Jonka Tubies? The lights are looking inviting. I'm in the dark by myself. Okay, I'm going to go. I'm turning the oven on. <laughs> I know. Yes, I will definitely focus on my place. Always continue. I wouldn't even have a problem here. I might be escorted out. I'm not getting arrested or anything. Remember that I have the language upper hand in this place. Her French is garbage. She can't communicate in French for shit. And a lot of uh, like the real like Purlaine, like uh, French Canadians here, they don't like that Ontario English accent. They right away you get an attitude when, when they're going to hear like bonjour out of this one's mouth and stuff. I have the advantage. I can like quickly da, 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 and tell someone a story in French that she won't even understand what the hell I'm saying to the person. And suddenly everything pivots and they're throwing her dumb ass out of the store and banning her for life. <laughs> girl welcome to my city i told you i'll make it hell for you here this stupid ass this afternoon she comes on and she's like oh frenchie uh, somebody puts in her chat frenchie said she's gonna make montreal a living hell for you and this stupid ass takes it as a threat as if i would actually go and like assault her or something girl you're not worth a charge before you assault someone, you have to decide, is this worth a charge? Is this person worth a charge? Bitch, you're not worth jack shit to nobody. You're certainly not worth a charge. When I say I'm going to make your life a living hell, I mean little passive aggressive ways. I'm going to get you kicked out of places. I'm going to, I don't even know. I, I'm going to think about it, but I'm not talking about assault, you stupid ass. Who the fuck does she think she is that she's worth catching a charge for? Girl, take it down a notch. God. <laughs> I just thought of a joke. I can't even say <laughs> it's too bad. No, I'm saying it. I don't care. You couldn't even get a guy who likes to stab people to stab you because you are not worth catching the charge. <laughs> Rye M, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Continue to grow, yes. Okay, love you guys. I'll see you after. Bye. Before Asana, there was shut up ads. No one cares. Go away. Okay. <laughs> Listen, so that was the stream. Again, nobody wants her. Koki probably blew her off. She rented a hotel for nothing. She has not come live. She said she was going to come live again. It's almost midnight. I'm in her same, uh, what do you call it? Time zone. <laughs> I forgot how to speak there for a minute. She has not come live again. Hmm. I wonder what that means. Is she spending the night alone in a hotel manically texting Dee Dee all night? Has she made a new Marie Pondu account? And is she messaging with Koki directly? Wink, wink. <laughs> Anything is possible. Who the hell knows? Platty, thank you so much for the super chat. You could be her translator around town and toss in insults she won't notice. <laughs> It's not a bad idea. Anyway, point is, I'm a very creative person and I have the, the power of gelato mint to guide me. It makes you very creative. She's not going to like Montreal. <laughs> Put it that way, okay? Oh my God. Whatever. What a fun time. That was a really good one. Shitty stream, but good time with you guys. Um, Wait, wait. Did she rent a cheap gigolo? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see if she comes back in a couple hours. She probably did because she pays by the hour. But I really think, I really think we were right. She rented the hotel in hopes, like she came here to see apartments and rented the hotel hoping she'd be able to lure Koki over there. And I don't think it worked. <laughs> yeah, is Koki still alive? That's a good question. Let me take a little peek. So y'all don't have to. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, he is not. His stream ended an hour ago, and the stream is called I Miss You with Two Little Hearts. Interesting. So Koki's disappeared now. Disappeared. <laughs> That's a choice of words. Koki's disappeared for dramatic effect, and Chantal also has not come back live. 
Interesting. Deliciously. Love that for all of us. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. If it's Koki, she doesn't rent them by the hour. We know she gets the whole night's A. So we might not see her again tonight. If she actually uh, is staying at that freaking hotel, she'll be there all night too. I don't know what's going to happen. It's almost midnight. It's it's not unheard of for her to come back in the middle of the night or come back alive at one o'clock in the morning. Who the hell knows? We'll have to wait and see. If she's pissed off tomorrow, because look how giddy and excited she was in this stream. And this is the last we've seen of her. If she's pissed off tomorrow and we start with another raid stream in the morning, I think that's a pretty good indication that Koki blew her off all night. We'll be able to tell by the vibe in the morning if she actually lured him there or she was blown off again. She wears every emotion right on the surface. You guys know we'll be able to tell. <sighs> anyway, all right, for tonight, that is us caught up in Shantopolis. Love that for us. I secretly love it when she doesn't come back because we actually can catch up and that's great. <laughs> the two crackheads are missing. We await which one's going to pop up first and what's the vibe going to be. Mm -hmm. As soon as she pops up, I will... If it's in the middle of the night or whatever, I'm going to record her because if she's ragey, she might be deleted as well. We know how that works out. Uh, and that's what we will start with tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow, we're not going to be twitching and tweaking. Uh, we'll just, we're going to do a live on this channel as we do catch up, stay caught up in Shantopolis. And then on Sunday, we're going to do a double, okay? At noon Eastern on Sunday, we're going to be live twitching and tweaking uh, for an, a video as good as the one we watched today. It's going to be so so delicious on Sunday at noon. And then we'll do another live stream on the YouTube afterwards. Okay. To anybody who missed our Twitch stream today, uh, I don't often repeat things like this and encourage it. It was such a good stream. It's such an interesting mind blowing video that we watched. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm going to post it up on this channel tomorrow. Okay. Early in the day highly, highly recommend that everybody who missed it checks that video out tomorrow, okay? Eh, get your mind blown. We all had ours fucking blown today. It's a real, real doozy. Anyway, guys, thank you again for being here. I appreciate it. Everybody enjoy the rest of your Fridays. Soak up every second. Don't lose a second of a precious, precious Friday. And uh, be safe. Keep your masks on. And I'll meet you back on this channel tomorrow to catch up with our crackheads. Bye, guys.